Welcome to RoboCup Asia Pacific 2021. My name is Huda Abutris from uh, Flam Princess team. I am 15 years old. I'm Sudanese live in Egypt from Polaris Academy. I got uh, second place uh, in RoboCup Junior Egypt 2019 and I participated in ICOL WorldCup uh, and WorldCup Challenge uh, 2020. And I, I participated in finals in ICOL Challenge Egypt uh, 2021 and I got a first presentation and I participated of top top 10 of uh, pride camps. I participated in this competition uh, as U19 category uh, challenge task point. My challenge task points uh, get objects especially in super area go to deposit directly after collect four object while collecting RG, uh, object collect RGB to get super object. Move on dead zone easily without make the robot freezing. Don't go out of the map uh, layout. To, sol to solve it, I make spots in area and make flow points. Uh, my problems, my problems. Uh, first one was dead zone uh, in general. In the X uh, and in the X and Y of statement to not go out of the map, the condition was if position X and position Y smaller than 10. So the robot was avoid avoiding it. So I write if position X and position Y not equal zero, so the robot can move easily without avo uh, avoiding. To get uh, the second one, to get the X and Y of the deposit in the competition map. The problem was there were there were two heights to to take uh, and call, and and I couldn't take the right turn. After that, I make the perfect turn and the robot turn to the deposit. Direction of the robot in the map. The, uh, when the may, uh, when the game starts, the robot will turn ninety degree. Uh, then go to blue area and collect object, then turn to deposit. If the, ro if the robot have uh, more than or equal four, the robot will depositing the object. Else the robot will turn. To turn to get black object and turn to nine, nine square. Nine square. If the robot in nine square and, and have loaded object bigger than or equal four and robot in position A, so robot will turn 180 degree and deposit the object. Else, else will move forward. Else, if the robot in position B, uh, the robot will turn 90 degree and deposit the object. Else, else will move, uh, move forward in blue area. My video game. Robot collecting object in flow area, collecting object. Then turn to deposit to deposit the object and move forward after depositing. My conclusion is to drive the robot to the RGB corner and go to the deposit directly to get super object. But my super object doesn't complete it yet. Uh, further work to complete the super object method. My super object method 
uh, to get the location of the first super object and to get the location of the second super object by this method. If super, uh, if super equal equal zero, super one x, the new variable, equal super object x, and the super object y equal super object y, and super will then equal one. If super object uh, not equal, not equal super object one and n super object y not equal super object uh, one y super two x will be equal super object x and super two y will be equal super object y. Video explaining what I want the robot to do when super object made. Debugging. I used two ways in debug. First way to check if the robot makes the action or not. Example, I put in the advanced action, print function will left, uh, will left equal 70, new line print function will right equal 70. So the result, and the second way to know which statement robot stuck in, example, in the debugging uh, information. AI and resources I used uh, linear regression because I want to control the robot and regression can be implemented only in cases of linear relationship or or linearly as per the uh, problem. So algorithm draw a straight line between data points called the first fit line or regression line and is used to predict new value. And this is a reference. I started solving every problem by blueprints since I was in the International iCode Challenge 2020. That helped me a lot by knowing the perfect way robots will turn by compass at X or Y. The resources. Some videos from RCAP Academy YouTube challenge helped me a lot. My learning experience through my robotics, uh, through my robotics, I learned many things, not give up and learn from other people. A last thing I want to thank my coach, Yusra Abdullah. Thanks for watching. How that was this?